Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will be rigging a human character with Blender's built-in add-on Rigify. This add-on allows you to not only pose your character like this, but also animate it for cinematics and games. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add the human armature, generate the animation rig, and connect it to your character. We will also cover some common problems that can occur when generating the rig, as well as some basic controls of the rig itself. Okay, let's jump in. This add-on comes packaged natively with Blender, so all you have to do is go up to your Edit Preferences menu, go to the add-on menu, type Rig in the search menu, click this little button here, and then click Save Preferences. To add the armature, press Shift-A, down to Armature, and then select Human Meta Rig. You can press Alt-Z to toggle X-Ray mode, and then let's scale it up and move it to loosely match our character. Over on the right, you can tick the In Front option to have it more visible in Solid View. Over on the right, you can see in the Object Properties tab, the Scale Transform has changed from the default 1. To make it match our model, let's reset the transforms by pressing Ctrl A and then selecting Clear Transforms. When the Scale Transform of the armature is different than that of the model you connect it to, it creates an issue when you go to generate the rig, as we'll go over later. Okay, now we're ready to start positioning the armature so that it better lines up with our character. Select the armature and tab into Edit Mode. Make sure to press the X symmetry button in the top right corner to make things a little easier and more uniform. Now it's just a matter of lining the bones up with the model. I'm going to press 1 on the numpad to start in front orthographic view. A really good resource for rigging, especially with respect to Rigify, is the channel The Lollipop Man. He has a ton of great videos on working with Rigify, and he's pretty funny too. I'll put a link in the description below. Now 3 on the numpad to switch to side orthographic view. It's a good idea to move this controller just outside of the heel like this. You can hide bones just like you can other objects by pressing H on the keyboard. This can make lining other bones up easier. I'm going to keep things simple and delete the face bones. If you delete these bones, make sure you delete this bone called face hiding in the head bone here, or else you'll have issues when we go to generate the rig later. You can select this bone by toggling into x-ray mode.
Okay, now onto the hand. Alt H to unhide them. Then I'll move and rotate them into place. going to pull the elbow and shoulder into better alignment real quick here as well. So I can see things better, I'm going to select the legs and hips and spine and press H to hide them. To select the fingers a little quicker, I'm going to press L on my keyboard to select all the linked objects of the thumb here. This is a pretty handy shortcut. Now it's just a matter of moving the joints of the armature into alignment with where your model's fingers bend. The fingers can really get in the way of each other, so I like to select them all and then move them to the side first. Then I'll select one at a time and move them into alignment. Pressing control plus any number on the numpad will give you the flipped or opposite view of that number. Here I'm using it to look at the back of the hand to line up the pinky and ring finger. Okay, with the bones aligned with our model, it's time to generate the rig so we can move things around. On the right side panel, click the Generate Rig button here. If all went well, you should see something like this. If so, you can skip ahead to the Attach Model to Rig chapter. If not, I'll quickly go over some common issues I've faced when trying to generate the rig. The first common issue has to do with scale. If you forget to clear the scale transform of your armature after you scale it to fit your model, you'll probably have a scale transform like this. When you go to generate the rig, it will generate, which is great. But you'll see that it is quite small and doesn't line up with the model at all. This can make posing and animating a little more difficult than it needs to be. 
To fix this, just undo the rig generation with Control Z. Select the armature again and press Control A to clear transforms. Then generate the rig again and it should be the correct size. The second common issue has to do with disjoint bones. If you accidentally shift a bone out of alignment with its parent, when you go to generate the rig, you will get an error like this. Here it says bone spine.004 is disjoint. So tabbing into edit mode, you can see here spine.004 is out of alignment with spine.003, the neck. These two bones should overlap exactly for the rig to generate. To fix this, select one end of the bone, press Shift S and select two selected to move the 3D cursor to the end of the bone. Now select the end of the other bone and then up in the armature menu, select Snap Selection to Cursor. Now when you go to generate the rig, it should work. The third common issue has to do with the face bones. If you delete the face bones like we did earlier, but forget to delete the face bone hiding in the head bone, you will get an error saying something like ORG knows not found. To fix this, just do as we did before. Select the armature, tab into edit mode, toggle x-ray mode, select the bone called face hiding in the head bone here, and delete it. Okay, so with our rig generated, to attach it to the model so we can move it, select all the components of your model first. Then shift select the rig last. Then press control P and then select automatic weights. I'm gonna leave out the hair braid right now as we'll rig that in another video. Now, let's go up to the top left and switch to pose mode. Now you can select all of these different colored handles to control your character. These yellow handles control the middle part of the body, the torso, shoulders, the hips, and head. These red handles control the arms and legs. You can press N on your keyboard to pull up some more options for the rig. If things are getting too busy and hard to see, you can toggle the visibility of the controllers here. Let's turn on the ARM IK controllers. Here you can see as I pull the handle far out, the arm stretches with it. If you didn't want this behavior, you can turn it down or completely off here in the IK stretch field. I'm going to turn it off by entering zero here. Now you can see when I pull the red handle out, the arm no longer stretches. You need to do this for each of the arms and legs separately. Okay, so let's say you've been playing around with the controllers and your model is in an odd position you don't want anymore. To reset the rig's position, you can press F3 on your keyboard, 
type clear pose and select clear transform all. This will clear the location, rotation, and scale of any part of the rig you have selected at the time. And there you have it. There is one way you can rig a character using Blender's Rigify add-on. In the next video, we will do some weight painting and then animate a Street Fighter style idle animation. Give me a shout here or on social media. Let me know if you have any ideas for future videos or if I maybe messed up somewhere. Thanks for watching guys. I hope it helped and see you in the next one.